Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how are you, Nelson? I'm tired, teacher. I tired. wish to be. Uh huh. I wish to be sleeping. <laughs> I know, I know. But just two hours, just two hours, two hours goes fast. So don't worry, you will be sleeping soon. And it's Thursday, almost Friday. Okay, so relax, okay, relax. Teacher. <laughs> yes, just a little bit more. I can see Holman. Hello, Holman. How are you? Hey, teacher. I'm, I'm tired, but I'm okay. That's great. How was your day? Uh, the same, teacher. The same. <laughs> what to do and work and come back. The same, no, nothing new. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, yeah. welcome. Welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here, guys. And thank you so much for being on time. So today is Thursday. We are going to start the unit number three, okay? Now, let's see. I'm going to give one minute for your the, the rest of your classmates to join us, okay? Remember, always try to be on time, everyone. Don't forget it. Let's see, I can see Mirna. Hello, Mirna, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, I'm fine, and you? <laughs> Super great. How was your day? Uh, a little bit busy, but okay, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, I, I have a question, everyone. I was checking the news that there is a new option for internet. Have you seen that? No. The, Which option? Is the one for the Starlink. Have you heard about it? No. Mm -hmm. No, it's supposed no. that is like a satellite internet from the companies of Elon Musk. So that's uh, it. It's supposed that this internet never fails. That's what people say. And El Salvador has his own satellite. So <laughs> some people say that that's the best internet in maybe yeah because it's satellite. Yeah, so have you yeah. ever, nobody has heard about it? No? no. Okay. But, but in El Salvador, you talk about it in El Salvador. Yes, actually oh. El Salvador is the first country in Central America which has that option. The other countries, they don't have that option. So that's right. something interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what will happen, but so but the company is Mexican company, the slim, or which is the company? Well, I'm not sure where their offices are. I just know that the owner is Elian Musk. The, Elian Musk. Ah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's the owner. So we will never, yeah. we, we don't know what will happen, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Okay, welcome. Now I can see more students. Welcome everyone. I'm happy to see you here. I can see Hector. How are you, Hector? How do you feel? Teacher, good night. Have a, have a, good evening. <laughs> good I, evening. Feel, I feel well, I think. Hmm. The traffic is, is Ever, ever, or, or <laughs> awful. I know. But, but in but, house, it's, it's peace. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, I know the traffic is crazy, everyone. I know that some of you are still driving. Some of you are not at home yet. So if you are driving, please be careful. All right. I don't want you to get an accident. So be careful, please. I can see Pamela. Hello, Pamela. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm great. And you? I'm great too. I'm happy to see you here. How was your day? Um, I have a, a great day today. Today I I went out to the office uh, early. Ah. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. I I went to to do exercise at the park. So hey, that's, that's yep. great. <laughs> that's great. A healthy girl. I like that. Very good. Very good. So everyone, if you can do exercise, also try to do it. Try to do it. Okay. Welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for being in the class. And let's start. Do you remember what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh huh. Yes, enough of now. Very good. Enough when we modify a noun. Very good. Let me share the presentation for today. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Sure. So today is April 13th. We are in the week number three, and today we are going to start the unit number three, okay? So everybody, just a reminder, remember we are near to finish the level, okay? I want to congratulate some people that already finished uh, the homeworks on the platform, and let me share it with you. Look at this. Uh, here we got some of you already finished even the unit number three. Some of you already finished even the unit number four. So awesome, that's great. Some of you, well, most of you already finished the exam, the first exam. Excellent. So remember that for tomorrow, before uh, midnight, you have to finish the unit number two and the exam. But look at this, most of you already finished. I, I want to congrats Carlos because Carlos was very low, but now he advanced a lot. Christian, for example, he already even finished the unit number four, that's great. I got Erika, she's a little bit low. So Erika, you got to advance please uh, Fatima already finished very good I got Gabriel Gabriel already finished all the units uh, the same as Hector so guys very good job Isabel already finished uh, until the unit number three so that's awesome imagine now you just have to work in the unit number four that's great I got Ivan already finished a unit one and two and already started working on the unit number three. Jamie, Jamie only needs to finish the exam. So, so far so good. Holman, super good. Already finished even the unit number three. That's great. Lucy started to work in the unit number three. Very good. Excellent grade in the exam. Magdaleno, Mirna, Nelson, already finished all the homeworks. So that's great. Congratulations, guys. I got Oscar. Oscar already finished the unit number three and is working on the unit number four. Awesome. Pamela already finished both units and the exam. So she's ready to start working on the unit number three. Very good job. Rosalina already finished two and already started to work in the unit number three. That's great. So everybody, good job with the ones that are very advanced on the platform. Remember, this is something that I always said, the platform is not optional. 
Okay, you have to work on it. If you want to move to the next level, you have to finish the platform. And if you see some of the exercises are very easy, if you find an exercise that is a little bit difficult or you don't know what the answer is or is giving you an error, you can always tell me. Send a screenshot and I will help you with that. Okay, but let me know so I can help you. So please, for the ones who hasn't finished, work hard, try to hurry up. If you have issues with the platform, also tell me and we can see what we can do. Some people got issues, for example, uh, ah, the platform is not working or my user is not working. So if that's the case, let me know so we can try to fix it. Don't wait until the last day. If you don't even have a profile, let me know so I can help you with that. Okay, but try to do it. So um, let's start with today's topic. But first, let's review a little bit the topic for yesterday, how to use enough with nouns. So let's see if you remember. If I have enough with adjectives, what is the structure? Do you remember? Uh-huh. Which one goes first? Adjective enough or enough and then the adjective? Hmm, what is the formula? Adjective. Is the adjective plus uh -huh. enough? Correct. Exactly. If I have enough with the nouns, what is the formula? Enough plus noun. Perfect. That's correct. Excellent job. It doesn't matter if it is a question, it doesn't matter if it is affirmative or negative, the structure is the same, okay? So remember the formula. If you feel that this is difficult for you, take a piece of paper and write this, okay? And keep it close to you. And with the practice at the end, you will keep it and you will memorize it. Now let's do a practice. Um, here we got some sentences. I wanted to choose the correct form. Look at the number one. It says, it is not da -da 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 -da, to sit in the garden. So what do you think? What will be the correct answer? Enough warm or warm enough? It's warm enough. Warm enough. Warm enough. Are you sure? Yes, if you see warm is an adjective. So first the adjective and then the word enough. Okay, I need a volunteer for reading the number two, please. Me teacher. Yes, please. I haven't got enough money, money enough to go on holiday this year. I haven't got mm, enough money go on holidays this year enough money do you agree everybody yes yes definitely very good job very good job okay next one let's see rosalina pick one of your classmates please okay mm. what is the name Katia? no oh. i'm sorry Yesterday, no, another lady, Katia, Kathy? No, I don't remember the name. Uh, I don't know, but pick someone. Mirna. Mirna. Oh, Mirna. Okay, that's yeah. the one. Okay, Mirna, number three, please. He doesn't speak English enough or enough English to make himself understood. Uh -huh. He doesn't speak enough English to make himself understood. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Uh huh. Yes. yes, totally. Very good job. Mirna, pick someone, please. Okay, let me see. Teacher. Mm. 
Nelson. <laughs> All right. Nelson, can you read the number four? Okay. This code, it is not enough warm, uh, warm enough for me to be in winter. So what is the correct answer? Enough warm or warm enough? Enough warm. Enough warm, are you sure? Yes. Okay, do you agree everybody? I don't think so, teacher. Uh huh. This cause is not warm enough Why? for me to work winter. Why? Why do you think that is warm enough instead of enough warm? Because you talk about that this cause is is a negative warm. Ah. Uh -huh. So look at this, warm is a noun or is that an adjective? For me, and this is winter is an adjective. Correct. Actually, it is, it's an adjective. So remember, if we get an adjective, the adjective goes first. Okay, be careful with that. Nelson, can you pick someone please? <laughs> Mm, Pamela. Thank you. Pamela, go ahead. Number five. Number five is that chair isn't strong enough for you to stand on. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Definitely. This is an adjective. Easy. Okay, Pamela, pick someone. Um, Lucy. Thank you. Lucy, can you read the number six? Yes. This bed is not in wide enough for two people to sleep in. All right. Wide enough. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Very good job. Uh, Natalie, can you pick someone, please? Fatima. Thank you. Okay, Fatima, can you tell me the number seven, please? I don't have enough time to do it. All right, everybody, what do you think? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, yes. totally. Yes. Time is a noun, so perfect. Fatima, can you pick someone, please? Hector. Thank you. Hector, number eight. Number eight. Um, this, is this coffee enough strong for you? Enough is strong, are you sure? Oh, sorry, 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 it's strong, it's strong enough, it's ah. strong enough. All right, mm -hmm. everybody, is that correct? Yes. Yes, strong is an adjective, very good. Hector, pick someone, please. Um, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, number nine, please. Do we have um, drink, drinking enough for the party? Drinks enough or enough drinks? Treat enough. Drinks enough. Okay. Yes. Everybody, do you agree? Enough drink. Why? Enough drinks? Yes. Because it's a it's an it's a noun. It's a noun. It's a noun. Correct. So if you see the word Drinks is not an adjective. So we are talking about a noun. So that's why it's enough drinks. Very good. Um, Carlos, pick someone, please. Um, 
Magdaleno. Thank you. Magdaleno, can you answer the number 10, please? Yes, uh, yes, of course. Um, there were not um, enough people to form a dance group. All right, everybody, do you agree? Yes. Yes, definitely. Everybody, super good job. So remember, just remember the formula. If it is an adjective, the adjective goes first. If it is a noun, the noun goes after. Important, I know that it's difficult sometimes to identify if it is an adjective or if it is a noun. That's difficult. But what you can do if you are not sure, for example, imagine that you find the word, for example, is strong. Imagine that you don't know what the meaning is and you are strong. I don't know what is that. So you don't know if it is a noun or if it is an adjective. So what can you do? Go to the dictionary. Okay. In the dictionary, the dictionary will tell you what function this word has. Okay. And with the time, you will be memorizing it. Okay, so be careful with that. Now, one more practice about this topic and then we are going to move on to the new topic. I'm going to show you some sentences and I want you to find a mistake, okay? When you find a mistake, I want you to correct the sentences. For example, look at the number one. I need to buy a lamp because I don't have enough the light in my room. Can you see any mistake in this sentence? What do you think? You should maybe say enough light. Ah, everybody, what do you think? Do you agree to your classmates? The, the the word D, the light. So the word D is not necessary? Mm -hmm. That's correct. So the correct yeah. sentence is, I don't have enough light in my room. And be careful with this, because in Spanish, we use a lot this article. But in English, it's not always necessary. Very good job, very good job. Okay, how about the number two? Volunteer for reading. Uh, could I try, teacher? Yes, please. <clears throat> that excuse isn't enough good. All the right. correct, in my opinion, is that excuse isn't is um, good enough. Okay, so for you is the opposite, like this. Yeah. Yes, in my opinion, is that. Do you agree, everybody? I agree. Yeah. Yes. Actually, that's correct because remember, good is an adjective. All right. Excellent job. Okay, volunteer for the next one, please. Volunteer for reading. Si anda mal el táctil su teléfono. Yes, please, go ahead. Do we have hamburgers and not as for the party? I think it's opposite and, and not hamburgers. All right, so like this. What do you think, everybody? Do you agree? Yes. Yes, but can you see any other mistake? As teacher, the, the, ah. the as. Do I need the word as or not? No, I think no. It's not necessary. Remember that as we use it when we are comparing two things <laughs> that are the same. So as in this sentence, mm -mm, it's not necessary. Very good job. Okay, number four, volunteer for reading.
Only one, please. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Without, without enough to sleep, you won't be able to do well on the examination. Uh -huh. I think it's without enough sleep. The word there is. It's not necessary. Sleep. Yes. Do you agree, without everybody? Enough sleep. Ah, okay. What do you think, everyone? Without enough sleep. Yes? Uh huh. Enough sleep is an adjective. I'm confusing this. An adjective without sleep enough. All right. In this case, what is the function for sleep? Try to understand the sentence. It's saying. Sleep, sleep is a verb. Uh, adjective or verb. Uh, sleep is a verb. Yeah. So. In this case, imagine the word sleep can be a verb, but also can be a noun. So in this case, the translation could be sin el suficiente reposo or sin el suficiente sueño, right? You won't be able to do the examination. So in this case, it is working more as a noun, all right? So that's why we put it in this context first enough and then sleep. But the article da mm -mm, is not necessary. And be careful with this word can be a little bit confusing. I have the word um, sleepy. This one is the adjective. Okay. So, oh, teacher, I am sleepy. So that's the adjective, okay? Similar words, but they are different. All right, I need a volunteer for reading the number five. Teacher? Yes, please. Can I? Yes. <clears throat> Billy isn't enough old to enlist in the army. Uh-huh. Billy isn't old enough to enlist in the army. So is the opposite like this? Yes, all is an adjective. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Exactly. That's the correct one. Volunteer for the number six, please. Uh huh. Okay, if I don't have volunteers, I'm going to put yes. Who? I am ashamed, but I will. I, will, uh, I want to try. I want to try. Do it. Do it. There, there aren't enough cars for all of us to go. So, is uh, this that, sentence correct? Um. Yes, it's correct. Okay. All of us to go. Yes, it's correct. There, there aren't. No hay suficiente carros para irnos todos nosotros. It's correct in my opinion. Okay. Everybody, do you agree? I'm confused. The cars is in plural or there aren't enough cars? Look at the key word because here it says there aren't. Yes, it's the plural, of ah, course. Yeah. Yeah. So, cars. Okay, so in this case, I need plural, right? There aren't enough cars. If we had is, okay, singular, but in this case, it's plural. Very good, very good. Number seven, volunteer, please. Come on, everybody, let's participate. Don't be afraid. If I don't have volunteers, I'm going to pick someone. Let's see. Carlos, can you read the number seven, please? He's scored on the exam 
uh, was a non go to to quality quality in in the growth in the program. Thank you. Qualify. That's the pronunciation. Qualify. Qualify. Uh huh. Qualify. So, is this sentence correct or not? Mm. Mm, was why uh, the exam was mm -hmm. non, non necessary. Hmm. All right. What do you think, everyone? Do you agree? So let's pay attention on enough and good because that's the key word. Can I say good enough or is enough good? What would be the is, correct one? Good enough. Is good enough. Why? Because go is adjective. Exactly. That's what you have to remember. Okay. In this case, the rest of the sentence is correct. Only good because it's an adjective goes first. All right. The last one. I need another volunteer, please, for reading the last one. Oh my gosh, no volunteers. Okay, let me pick someone else. Um, da, da, da. I'm going to pick Holman. Can you read the last one, please? Um, he had <clears throat> time and also finish our work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, he had enough time to finish our work. Okay, so it's the opposite. What do you think, everyone? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. In this case, time is a noun. So we need to switch the position. Very good job, very good job. So everyone, super good job, excellent. You are good at identifying mistakes. Any questions so far about this topic, everyone? About enough with adjective and enough with, a, with nouns? Is it clear? If you have questions, this is the moment. I can explain again, no problem. For me, it's clear. Clear, okay. The rest of you, everyone? Okay. No questions? No questions. Okay, I hope so. If you have questions, everyone, just let me know. If you are afraid to ask questions here in the class, also remember, you can send me a text, okay? When you feel a topic is difficult, but you are a little shy to say it, you can send me a message. Teacher, you know what? I feel this topic, it was difficult. I would like to have extra practice. And I can take some minutes in the next class to have more practice or if you need to practice in your free time i can search some links and i can send it so you can practice but let me know i'm here to help okay now i'm going to check attendance if you listen to your names say present carlos abrego present very good christian alexander Christian Alexander is here. Present teacher. Oh, yes, sorry, I haven't seen it. Okay, thank you. Um, Erika Jasmine. Oh, she's listener, sorry. Uh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Okay, very good. Um, Hector Francisco. Present. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. 
presence. All right, Ivan, we missed you yesterday. What happened? Teacher, so sorry, I, I little six in, in my throat, garganta. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but do you feel better now? Yeah, so bad, so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you get completely better soon, okay? Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see, Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Excellent. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay. Selvin Adonai. All right. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. All right. So everyone, let's continue. Let's see, let's see. Let me share the presentation again. Let's see, give me a second because it's a little bit slow. Can you see the presentation everyone? Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, so this is the topic for today. Describe effective branding. So today we are starting the unit number three. Okay, so this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. I went right, teacher. Yes, please. Class objective. Discuss basic vocabulary of the branding process. Thank you. So we are going to check some vocabulary and we are going to talk about brandings and uh, another things. So when we are talking about brands, brands are everywhere. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? Yes, agree. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Definitely, right? Do you know how brands started? You know what was the first brand? Maybe Google. <laughs> Google? I, don't, I don't understood your question, teacher. Could you repeat that, please? Sure. Do you know when the brands started? When was the beginning of the brand? Yes. yes, thank you. Uh huh. Any idea? McDonald's, I think. McDonald's, okay. I have heard a story for uh, the knife. For um, I don't remember the the brand uh, for knife. Tramontina. Ah, all right. So, do you think that that was the first one? Okay, another idea, everyone? Teacher. Coca-Cola. Okay. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Fatima? Disney. Disney, okay. No one else? Teacher, when you say the first is around the world, yes? The first, the, the top. In the, the history. Top yeah, yeah in, in the, the history. history. Okay. Well, let me tell you something. Well, brands are everywhere, right? Brand is not a logo, corporate identity, advertising and marketing. Do you agree with this? Do you think that a brand is more than that? Do you think that brands are like representing confidence, passion, security? What do you think? When you see a brand, do they transmit these characteristics? 
Yes or no? Yes. You can yeah. steal. Depending on, depending on the brand. Ah, very good. Some brands can transmit you positive aspects or negative values, right? So let's talk about history. Branding started in the past with the cattles. Do you know what the meaning is? Cattles? No. No, teacher. It's a, it's a group of cows, right? Yes. What is the name of a group of cows? Cattle. The translation? Gamel. Yes. So that's the way that the brand started. You had the cattle, you had to stamp a brand to identify that you are the owners. So in the past, people started to stamp the name, for example, or a letter, or a symbol that represents you. So the rest of the people can identify that the cow was you. So that was the first brand. That was the beginning of the brand story. Later, um, people started to use brands in the wine. They started to stamp like, the wooden castles to identify what was the name of the wine. And also that symbol or that brand makes you feel or give you the guarantee that the wine was good, that has high quality. Did you know this story about brands? Yes or no? No idea about this story? No, teacher, friend. it's the first no, time. <laughs> so you see, every day we learn something new. I don't, I don't drink wine. <laughs> you don't drink wine, only beers. <laughs> I don't no, no. remember a phrase. Uh -huh. Only a water, phrase. soda. Ah, only water and soda, says. And liqueur, yeah, it's true. <laughs> and tequila. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. No like her. All right. Your face, your face say I am a uh, alcoholic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. It's a joke, no. it's a joke, sorry. <laughs> All right. Long, but... long time ago, uh, maybe. Actually... But... Nothing. So you already change. Yes. I mean, good for you. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know, Magdalena, you were about to say something. I don't know. A phrase. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember a phrase with your explanation. A phrase what I, I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Sorry. Okay. If you remember, let me know. Okay. Okay, now, many things can be branded. For example, products, services, people, places, religions. So do you agree, everyone? Do you think that all of these things can be brand? All of these things can have brands in them? What do you think? Remember that when we are talking about brands, we are talking about names, okay? In, in our country, um, there, are, there is um, some, some entity, entity, in enti una entidad. Identities? How do you say that? Exist, Identities? Ident exist mm -hmm. an identity for check or for register every, every brand. And for, for churches, for example, they have to subscribe or enlist in uh, Hacienda for, mm -hmm. for give your, uh, how do you say impuesto? <clears throat> taxes. Your taxes, their mm -hmm. taxes. 
It's same with the other products. The register mark is called, is right? Correct. So if you see everybody, we can see brands everywhere. And we can brand everything, right? So brands is very important. So that's why we are going to talk about brands today and learn vocabulary. Let's just start with a reading. And if you got your manuals, let's go to the manual in the page 25. And I will need volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? Yes, teacher. Uh, thank you, Nelson and Magdaleno. Okay, Nelson, you will be Josue. Magdaleno, you will be Amy. Go. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diaper. Diapers. Diapers. Mm -hmm. And what do you have in what do you what do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather. Oh, I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Thank you, very good. Okay, let's answer the question. What product is Josue selling? According to the reading, what is the product? Di diapers. Diapers, very good. And what is the characteristic of that product? It's environment friendly. Ah, look at this. They are environment friendly, super good. Now, um, let's see, let's omit that one. They mentioned this, no brand. Hmm, what is that? They said that they can give you the option that instead of using a brand, they can use it no brand. Have you ever heard about that, everyone? No brand product? I have never heard about it. I, excuse me. Uh -huh. I saw some in Pricemar. Ah. In, uh, in uh, uh, I don't know what is the name. Uh, when you put uh, the, the, the space, when you put the products, what is the name? Uh, um, the shelf. Okay. And, and one, say no brand. Ah, very good. So, I got it right now, what he's talking about. <laughs> when I see that, I think ah. it's a general product, but the price, the price is, yeah, I remember it was different uh -huh. because, because the products is um, not are the, the- Like with the popular mm -hmm. brands, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. yes. Exactly. So, okay. Nowadays, in some, be careful with the microphone, some of you. Nowadays, in some countries, especially in Japan, Korea, they are using no brands products. So what is that? Let's learn a little bit about it. I need a volunteer for reading this short definition. What is a non-brand product? Uh -huh. Yes, please. Uh, we have brand. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Go ahead, Rosalina. Okay. Brand products is sold under the name of a shop or under the name of the product itself, rather than the name of the company that's made it. Thank you. So, for example, imagine I got this cafe. It says cafe instantaneo or instant cafe, uh, coffee, but this is the name of the product, right? They are explaining what's the product, but can you see a, a brand here? It doesn't say uh, 
Juan Valdez, Starbucks, the coffee cup. No, right? They don't have a brand. So nowadays, it's a little bit more common to see this type of product. So do you think that is, is a good idea to have this type of products? No brands products? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, it's the, they, they are own products in the business. For example, Super Selectos, uh, they, they are brands. Mm -hmm. um, is, see, yes, it's a good idea because um, the, the pricing is cheaper for the ah, consumer. Very good. That's something good about it. So let me Teacher. ask you. Uh -huh. But I, I wonder if that product are high quality. <clears throat> That's another thing. Imagine that in this case, you don't see a brand. Remember what we said before, the brand transmits the quality. They guarantee that the product that you are receiving is a good product. But if you see no brands, mm, that can makes you doubt. So, would you rather buy a brand product or a non-brand product? What do you think? Which one would you prefer? In my opinion, teacher is better. It's better when a product have a brand because a product don't have a brand. You don't. You are not sure the the beginning of this product. You, you don't have uh, confidence in this product. Okay, that's a good point. And the rest of you, everyone, what do you think? Would you rather the, uh, the brand products or non-brand products? Remember some of the characteristic of the non-brand products is that most of the time they are cheaper. So what do you think? Mm, I have an idea. Can I... I have an idea. Go ahead. Uh, I prefer in some in, in some kind of product. I prefer the um, no brand products because I think that no brand products has less chemical than the conventional products mm -hmm. uh, because there are they are more how can I say artesanales? Handcraft? Hand Hand craft. Hand Ham? como de mano and okay. craft. Ham's craft. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. This is my opinion. <laughs> Actually, that's a good opinion. Very nice. But imagine that's something good. Even some products, maybe it's not so bad idea to have a non-brand. But for example, if you are going to buy an electrodomestic or an electronic device, would you rather buy a brand or a non-brand product? Imagine that you will buy a washing machine or a microwave or a refrigerator. So what do you think, Rosalina? Excuse me, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Why, what is the main idea to promote the no brand? Do you know that? Yeah, well, in some scenarios, there are some companies that they prefer that people focus on the product, not on their brand. Because remember oh, that yeah. There are some negative aspects with the brands too. For example, when you see a Starbucks, the first yeah. thing that some people think is, no, this is expensive. Yes, yes. I agree. And, yeah. and then they don't even give a try. They don't give an, they don't even uh, give an opportunity, right? Yeah. So that's why some companies prefer, okay, we are going to give this product and we are not going to put a logo or the brand because some people can just say no because of the brand. 
is the same as Coca-Cola. <laughs> Some people prefer Pepsi. So if they see a new beverage, it likes, for example, mango drink. Hey, that sounds attractive. But if they see that it belongs to Coca-Cola, they will say, nah, because I prefer Pepsi. So mm -hmm. that's the uh, reason why. That is the way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. So imagine if you want to buy an electrodomestic, would you rather buy a brand or non-brand product? What do you think? A brand. A brand. Ah, why? Maybe. The warranty. Yeah, yes, this is a big <laughs> reason. <laughs> and that's why brands are important because they represent quality. They transmit the confidence that the product is good. Excellent. So as we see, brands are important, everyone. So let's learn some vocabulary about brands. We got the first one, product branding. This is the definitions that we already know. A product branding is the way that you identify a brand. For example, look at this logo. What is the name of the brand? Nike. 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 Ah, Nike. So it doesn't say Nike, but you already identify it because of the logo, because of the phrase. So that is the meaning of product branding. Okay, the way that you identify the brand. Now, personal branding. Look, in personal branding, that means when your name can be a brand. Have you ever seen some famous people that they offer some services and the name is their own name? Right. For example, imagine this person is a digital marketing. Uh, so what is the name of her brand? Is her own name. That is the meaning of personal branding. When your own name is your brand. Is it clear? This one? Yes. Se entiende? What is yes, personal branding? Okay. Then we got corporate branding. Corporate branding is, for example, when we have a company and the company has different products. For example, look at this. I got Nesquik, Nido, Nes. Eh, Leche Anchor, Musun, but what is the name of the company? What is the brand? Business Lex. Aha, but if you see, all of these products belong to the same corporate brand, right? That is the meaning for that. For example, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is the name of the corporation, but they have different products. Now, geographical branding. That means when some uh, companies, they have the name referring to a place. For example, look, KFC. They got their names because of the place, right? Kentucky. This company, for example, New York Bakery, they got the name because they are located in New York. If you think about American Airlines, do you think that American Airlines is from Europe? Yes or no? No, right? It is from America. So that is the meaning of geographical branding. They had its name 
because the name of the place. And the last one, cultural branding. Cultural branding um, is when a product represents a culture, right? For example, what comes to your mind when you see cola champán? <laughs> what comes to your mind? Ah, very good. What else? It's a, it's a product, uh, not, how do you say, nostalgic or nostalgic? Nostalgic. Mm -hmm. Nostalgic, it's product nostalgic, the uh, original of El Salvador. Very good. So, <coughs> what is happening here? Cola Champán is representing Salvadorian culture. So, this is the meaning for these phrases. I already explained it with my own words, but now I have the definitions. You already have an idea. So now I want you to match these words with the definition. I'm going to try to do it bigger. This is in your manuals, okay? So now that I already gave you the idea, I want you to match, okay? I'm going to give you three minutes. Read the definitions and match it. Go ahead, three minutes. If there is a word that you don't understand, let me know and I will help you. Three minutes. We have different type of branding, so let me know what is the correct description. Teacher. Yes. What is the pronunciation for uh, entity? Is correct? That is the one. And opposed? Opposed. Opposed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. If you have a question, just let me know, please. If there is a word that you don't know what the meaning is, tell me and I will help you. Read carefully, everyone. Read carefully. Try to understand the main idea and match the correct type of branding. One more minute, and then we are going to check the answers.
ready, everyone? Yes or not yet? No ready. Ready? Okay, I will be asking individually. So look at the number one. We are talking about product branding. Okay, let me ask to, 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 to Mirna. Mirna, what do you think? What is the correct description for product branding? Okay, product branding, it is how a product interacts with its customer audience through design, logo, and advertising. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? I agree, teacher. I agree. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Very good job. Mirna, pick someone, please. <laughs> Pamela? Thank you. Pamela, personal branding. What is that? Personal branding is <clears throat> The practice of people marketing themselves and their careers as a brand. Thank you. Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? I agree too. Okay, and the rest? What do you think? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Correct. Remember the example that I gave you before? This is when a person is using their own names. Very good. Uh, Pamela, pick someone, please. Um, Isabel. Thank you. Isabel, corporate branding. Hmm, what is that? What do you think? Uh -huh, Isabel, are you there? Mm, okay, I think he's not there. Okay, Fatima, can you help him? Corporate branding. Corporate branding, it refers to the practice of promoting the brand name of a corporate entity as opposed to a specific product or service. Okay, or services. What do you think, everyone? Do you agree? Yep, I agree. Yes, yes. Yes? Yes. Definitely. Very good job. Fatima, pick someone, please. Nelson. Thank you. Nelson, geographical branding. It is used to draw a opposite connection between a product and the ident identity of a geographical region. 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 Uh huh. Everybody, is that correct? Yes. It's Definitely. Correct. Very good. And the last one: volunteer for reading, cultural branding. Mm -hmm. Volunteer for reading. Teacher. Yes. Cultural branding, um, a type of branding that develops a rep reputation, I don't know, yes. about the environment and people of a part particular location or nationally. Or nationality, very good. So these are some of the type of branding that exist. Brand, a product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, geographical branding, and cultural branding. Okay, so be careful with these definitions. Remember, we got the platform. On the platform sometimes appears this type of exercises, so be careful with that. Any questions, everybody, about these definitions? No, questions? Teacher, I don't have No? Okay, very good job. Always remember everyone, you have your manual. So you can have this information so you can review it. Now, always talking about branding, 
let's talk about celebrity endorsement. What is that? What do you think? What is celebrity endorsement? What comes to your mind? Look at the picture. Any idea? When when the the brands mm -hmm. associate with with the celebrities to to promote and advertise their product. Nice, exactly like that. So, for example, look at this picture. <laughs> What's her name? Do you know her? Ah, and what is the product? Coca Cola. Uh -huh. Diet Coke. The Diet Coke. Very good. Uh huh. Can you remember any other celebrity that uh, has association with another brand? Can you give me another example? Uh, I, re I remember uh, the adversity in the Pepsi. Uh huh. Uh, the artist, for example, Beyonce, Britney Spears. Ah, correct. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's an example of celebrity endorsement. Okay, so basically is when a celebrity is the image, okay? In the chat says Travis Scott with Nike. That's another example of celebrity endorsement. Very good. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the, the idea is I can make you think that if uh, the brand uh, produce a celebrity, Remember that if the person is very famous, that's a good way to make your brand famous too. So for example, the fans that follows Taylor Swift, if they see that they have that product, I mean, they will like to buy that product too. All right, so that's the idea. So, but now let me ask you, um, is that a good idea to use a celebrity? Which brands, what do you think? In my opinion, teacher, yes. Because for example, I, I remember that Messi, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was a, a Lace. Lace is the brand that potatoes <laughs> or a snack ah, for a snack. The snack? Yes. Yes, and when you... When you see the 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 match or the or, or the game, you can eat <laughs> less. That's true. Yeah, this is the I think that this is the idea that the company have the celebrity endorsement. That's uh, the this, one. This kind. Imagine you are watching a soccer match, and suddenly appears the advertisements about the the that's the snacks immediately you wanted to buy them and you wanted to eat it, right? So that's the idea to use celebrity endorsement. So thinking about that, here we got some vocabulary that I wanted to use. We got audience, celebrity, credibility, endorse, lucrative, shelf life, and tempt. Is there any of these words that you don't know what the meaning is? Yes. Uh huh. Which one? Uh, what's meaning shelf life? Shelf life. Have you ever seen this word, everybody? No. Me? No. No. Okay, shelf life is a period when the product works. So the translation is like una vida útil o el tiempo de caducidad de algo, 
right? So for example, you say, I buy this computer, uh, the shelf life of this computer is around eight years. That mm -hmm. means that the computer will work perfectly during eight years. That is the meaning of shelf life. Any other word that you don't know the meaning? Tempt. Tempt. Have you ever seen this word, anyone? I don't know. No? no. Okay. Uh, tempt can has different meanings, but one of the most important is like attract, right? Or like in Spanish, when you say tentar, seducir, atraer. So that is the meaning for it. Attempt. Okay. So, any other words or the others are clear? The, the word endorse. Okay. Endorse is related to endorsement. So that means like un backup, como respaldar o apoyar. That's the meaning for endorse. So, what I want you to do. I got here different sentences, and I want you to use these words to complete the sentences. For example, look at the first one. Uh, ta -da 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 -da. It's someone who is famous, especially in the entertainment business. What do you think? Which word can I put here? Celebrity. celebrity. Ah, very good. So a celebrity is someone who is famous and ta da 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 da. Okay. I will give you five minutes to complete these sentences with the correct word. Okay. If you find a word that you don't know what the meaning is, let me know and I will help you. You got five minutes. Go ahead. And I want to everybody do the exercise, please. I will be asking individually. So the people who is not uh, participating, those are the people that I'm going to ask. Okay, so everybody complete the exercise. Five minutes, go ahead. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Read carefully. Try to choose the correct word. Teacher, yes? what means in the number five, e.g.? Oh, this is like example. 
So for ex when you are talking and you say, for example, so that is the meaning of ED. Mm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is like, for example, da -da 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 -da. that is the meaning. If you have a question, everyone, just let me know. I want to everybody complete the exercise. Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning of profit able in the last sentence, number seven, at the end? Oh, that is when you got revenues for a product. That means that you are getting a lot of money. So the translation is like rentable or provechoso. So you get money for that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everyone, you got two more minutes. Complete the exercise. If you have a question, just let me know. Teacher, I yeah. have a question about vocabulary. Yes, go ahead. When you know, when you know in what cases can you use only, in what cases you can use just. In actually, your, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, actually only and just, basically they are kind of the same. What happens is that just is most of the time used when you are talking about two aspects. First, when you refer to actions that happens few minutes ago. So just, acaba de suceder. So you can use it with actions. But you can also use it when you refer to something unique. For example, ah, I just won water but when you are talking about that scenario only and just they are just synonyms there is no like a big difference all right yes it's all right it's totally clear. very good okay everybody are you ready did you finish yes hmm Everybody ready or not yet? Uh -huh, okay, I will consider your silence as yes, you are ready. <laughs> okay, I need a volunteer. Who wants to read the number two? Me, teacher. Thank you, Pamela. Go ahead. If you endorse a product, you appear in an advertisement saying that you use and like it and like it and liked it very good job exactly excellent so guys if you wrote endorse in this sentence the sentence is correct pamela can you pick one of your classmates please magdaleno Thank you, Magdaleno. Number three, please. Okay, the number 
three is if an advert has a large audience, a lot of people are watching it. All right. So everybody, that's correct. So if you wrote audience, that sentence is correct. Magdaleno, pick someone, please. Okay. Um, uh, Nelson, my friend. Nelson okay. Antonio. <laughs> Thank you. Nelson, number four, please. Okay. If you tempt someone to do something, you're making her want to do it, especially if it's something that is not necessary or wrong. All right, it's very good job, very good job. So once everybody, if you were attempt in that one, totally correct. Okay, Nelson, pick someone, please. Okay, uh, Fatima, I don't know if there. Fatima, okay. Fatima, yes. Thank you, Fatima, number five, please. Teacher, I don't have finished. Oh, you haven't finished yet. No. Okay, no worries. Uh, is anyone who already got the number five? Anyone? Nobody has the number five? Me, teacher, can I try? <laughs> yes, Mirna, go ahead. If, if something, uh, for example, a brand has credibility, it can be believed or trust. All right, that's the correct one. So everybody, if you wrote credibility, that answer is correct. Very good job. Okay, who has the number six? Yeah, I have that. <laughs> okay, Rosalina, go ahead. You first, Rosalina first. Okay, if a product has a short, um, Elf life, it can only be kept in a shop for a short time, becomes too old to be used or sold. All right, so that's the correct one. Shelf life, if you wrote that word, it's correct. Very good job. Okay, volunteer for the last one. Who has the last one? Only one, please. I have that. Just help me, please, with the pronunciation of profitable. Is that correct? is the one? Yes. Okay. A loc lucrative contract is, is one that is very profitable. That is the one. Very good job. So everyone, if you wrote that word, totally correct. Excellent. So if you see everyone, it's not that difficult because I know that some of those words, you already know them, right? Very good job. Is there any question about this vocabulary or is it clear? Questions? No? No. Okay, very good. So always talking about these celebrities, how they are the image of a brand, it's time to have a reading practice. Do you know that in the class we have speaking practice, listening practice, but now it's time to practice reading. The purpose of this activity is to read, of course, but also I want you to understand what you are reading. At the end of this reading, we are going to have some questions. Okay, so be careful with that. I need a volunteer who wants to read the first paragraph. Uh huh. Who wants to read? If I don't have volunteers, I'm going to pick someone. Teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Go ahead. The fame game. Why brands want celebrities? There are many benefits for brands that associate themselves with big celebrities. 
celebrities endorsement is big business. Whether it's David Beckham with a Gillette razor or the sugar babes in sugar pretty, babes. Sugar babes in pretty poly tights. We all got used to associating associating big names with big brands. Thank you. So you see, we got famous people working with some famous brands. Very good. Okay, volunteer for reading the second paragraph. Me teacher. Go ahead, please. In addition to building human feelings into larger brands, celebrities can also help bring a smaller brand to a wider audience. I continue. Yes. Web-based company, uh, www.under5pounds.com, uh, have recently made the decision to take on British soap star Shobna Gulati to help launch their brand. For managing director Harjit Johal, it's a move they believe will add credibility and value to their brand. Very good. So, in this paragraph, this is very important. Look at this humans feelings so celebrities help to create humans feelings like a connection and they help smaller brands to have more audience that's why they picked celebrities okay now volunteer for continue reading please Yes, please. Sure. Where, despite, despite yes. the benefits of teaming a famous face to a brand, there are obvious disadvantages. Celebrities are only human, after all. There are a lot of different aspects considered, but it is definitely advisable. Uh, advisable to drop a celebrity a celebrity from an, an advertising campaign if there is damaging uh, damaging teacher damaging damaging the reputation of the brand very good so pay attention here because in the previous uh, previous paragraph they are saying one of the advantages to use a famous person is that they can help you to have more audience but what are some of the negative aspects what happens if i have a brand and i picked a, a celebrity that has like bad behavior, negative aspects. So that can reflect in a negative image. And there are many examples of celebrities, right? That they have very negative image. So that's one of the negative aspects. I need another volunteer, please, for reading the next paragraph. I want to everybody participate. Yes, thank you, Nelson. Go ahead. Kate Mold. That use was nearly a disaster for the brand. She was in all building. And there's the possibility of celebrities behind scene shopping at the rival store or, or yeah. generally the things we students sweep their imagining relation to the brand. Thank you. So this is what we we're saying before. There is an example of Kate Moss, that is this person here. She was related to drugs. So she gave a very negative uh, image to the brand she was involved in. 
Another negative or another disadvantage is that imagine that the celebrity uh, shop at the rival store. So, or imagine that they say that they don't like the brand. That's very negative image. And here are an example. <laughs> imagine Herbalife <laughs> buying Burger King. No, right. That's totally negative image. Now, someone else for reading, please. Uh, me yeah. picture. Okay, she first. Okay. Many celebrities have a limited cell life, in particular sport stars and athletes. And is, is this who are and it and ironically it is, ironically ironically often favored for a variety of lucrative endorse, endorsement contracts for the more for the more the sources of a celebrities association with a brave school cause problem if the relationship suddenly terminates. Terminated. So if you see some uh, soccer players or sports stars or athletes, um, they are famous, but with a short period of time. And if they got involved in negative aspects, that can affect the contract, all right? So, and that happens with Maradona. Do you remember Maradona? Yes? I remember him. So imagine, he was very famous, but with a very short period of time because he got involved in drugs. <laughs> so, he was the image of Coca-Cola, but Coca-Cola has to finish the contract because of the negative image that he was providing. So that is another disadvantage of using celebrities. Okay, one more please for reading the next paragraph. Okay, me. Okay. Yes, please. I can. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But, but the spies that it is uh, but despite the disadvantages of associating your brand with a famous face, it is certainly, certainly mm -hmm. a popular and successful method of promotion. And one of which, and one which is the ready to grow. Very good. So there are many disadvantages. But of course, if you use a famous face, I mean, that is going to help your product too. So according to the reading, let's check if you paid attention. Let's check if you understood the reading. Can you name two benefits for celebrities when they endorse a brand? What are some of the benefits that they can get? What do you think? Volunteer? For example, think about Messi. Messi was the image of Lays, those snacks. What benefits got Messi from being the image of this product? This celebrities have a pay of money. Ah, one of the benefits for the celebrities is that they receive money. Do you think that is few money or a lot? It's a lot. It actually, it's a percentage okay. of sales. Ah, very good. So, uh, Ivan, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the products... Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, the benefits, the adversity is the people famous. If is the product sells sells more. 
Mm -hmm. So imagine that's one of the benefits. They sell more. If they sell more, the celebrity receives more money. Yeah. What else? Another idea? Another more, benefits? More audience. Ah, very good. That's correct. So, but that is more audience for the brand or for the celebrity? Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> yeah. Imagine you can see Messi's face in the snacks Please. bar, yeah. right? That's true. <laughs> very good. Now, can you name some advantages for the brand? Not for the celebrity, for the brands. More sales. <laughs> yes, More they, sales. They increase. Mm -hmm. they increase their sales. What else? Another one? For the human, the human feeling. I don't remember how can I express that. The, the brand uh, can, uh, can uh, do switch with the, with the audience. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that they can connect that. with the I audience. Connect, yes. That's true. Just imagine Coca-Cola. Don't you feel something when you watch the advertisement with some famous people, especially at Christmas? Don't you feel that feelings connection with the TV commercials? Right? They have that. They are using the feelings and they can connect people. That's another advantage. Now, thinking about the negative aspects, can you name some of the disadvantages that the brands have if they use celebrities? Remember when the celebrity is uh, using drugs mm -hmm. and the image of the celebrity is dropping? And Definitely. Yes, I mean, the, the brand is too drop, dropping now. Definitely. Very good. Another disadvantage? What do you think? For the brand t-shirt for me, when the celebrity buy another brand, not the brand that they are, the, yes. maybe the, the promotion. Just imagine if Messi, uh, instead of buying lace, the, uh, he bought <laughs> Pringles. Oof, that's totally negative, right? So they have die risk every time that they use celebrities. One more disadvantage. How about money? Do you think that the the brands is very cheap for them to pay a celebrity, or is expensive? Uh huh. It depends the sales. I think the negotiation that the the celebrity is a percentage that Magdalena said that is a percentage that the 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 companies pay for the celebrities is depend that the right. the prof, yeah. profit prof, pro, profit yeah the or the revenue that the <laughs> company have. Yes, very good, very good. So if you see, we got some advantages and also we got some disadvantages. Now I want you to be the owners of the companies. We are going to work in teams and I want you to choose a product. It can be a national product or international product, but if you can choose a national product, it will be much better. Let's talk about our own product. So choose a product and answer the next questions. Which celebrities will you consider for endorsement? And I want you to explain the reason why. And I want you to think in another celebrity that you will definitely never consider to endorse your product, but also tell me the reason why. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to talk about cola champagne. <laughs> okay, it's a national product. So 
the person, the celebrity that I want to endorse my product is this guy. Do you know him? Do you know him? I don't. I don't. No? Anyone else? Yes, it's Pascal. <laughs> That's the one. Pedro Pascal is from Chile, right? And right now he is a little bit popular because he appears in the series The Last of Us. So the question says, why? Why would I consider him? Well, because Remember that Cola Champagne is cultural branding, represents El Salvador, represents the family, you know? And I think that he is a good image. He has a good reputation. He is popular right now. And also he is a Latin American actor. So I think that is it has a good connection. He can have a good connection with the audience. Now, the next question says, who would you definitely not consider? Well, for my product, I won't consider her. Do you know her? Yes, it's uh, Angelica, Angela Aguilar. Yes, very good. So I wouldn't consider her because I think that she is not humble, right? She, besides the fact that his family is from Mexico, she is not humble. So I think that she will give a negative image to my product. You know, many people right now is giving negative opinions about her. So mm, that's the reason why I wouldn't pick her to endorse my products. So this is exactly what I want you to do. ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Okay, so we are going to work in teams. Please, everybody, try to pick a national product. If you don't find a national product, you can pick an international one. There's no problem at all. Pick a person, a celebrity, to endorse your product. But remember, you have to explain the reason why. Okay? I'm going to send instructions on WhatsApp's group. We only had 10 minutes for this activity, everyone. So try to think fast. Okay, don't hesitate too much. Um, sometimes you overthink, but no worries. Try to keep it simple. Um, let me open up the groups. Please, everybody, only English. Okay, and then we are going to present the information. Okay, Teacher, let's go to work. Excuse, yes? Excuse me, how do you write hesitate? Hesitate. Yes. Okay. The word that you said. Yes. I'm sending it in the chat. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Uh, let me open up the groups and let's go to work. Hello, Hector. Hello, hello, Mirna and Erika. Erika. Erika is a listener today. <laughs> Hi, Erika. <laughs> I don't know if he's listening. Yeah, he's listener today. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe just you and me <laughs> i don't know maybe uh, i i think in uh national product they, they teach oh the, yes I the teach. national product i think mm -hmm. that the because i i i hello hello who is here 
Oh, I got Gabriel is a listener. Carlos, are you going to participate, right? Hello, Carlos, are you there? Okay. What another one? What Maybe our the, 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 What? Water. I don't know if La Cascadita, I don't, I don't remember. The brand you water said, of water. <laughs> you said Oranjal. No. What do you say? Las Perlitas. Yes, yes, that's right. Ah, it's a water. It's a water yes. brand. Yes? Yes. I don't know. I, 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 I was thinking about the um, Diana products. Yes, too. Diana is Maybe okay. Diana products. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Diana. So work with Diana. The word bite. Mm, okay. Which celebrity do you think we can consider for endorsement? I have the, a little trouble brand. with that. I have a little mm -hmm. trouble. I don't know a lot of celebrities. I just know and there was a silencio and Vicente Fernandez. I don't know any anymore. <laughs> or maybe pe people people of El Salvador. Like I don't know. <laughs> In El Salvador I, I just remember the El Profe. I just remember <laughs> what else? I don't remember any celebrity. The, the um, or or mm -hmm. or remember can be like TV shows or or um, or now in the social media are like the influencers maybe. I remember la tamalera. I know. <laughs> I don't know more. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know anybody else. <laughs> Maybe I don't know, but with a good reputation, <laughs> that is a little difficult. Okay, but you know what? Uh, I'm going to help you. The ones that Magdaleno is saying, that could be the ones for the second questions. Remember that you have to pick someone that you will never pick. The yes. one that Magdalena says could be the answer to the second questions. But Melan Nelson, you have to think in the ones for the first question. Yes, can you see? My opinion <laughs> is so useful. Can you see that? Definitely. <laughs> yes, but Magdalena okay. thinks that el, el profe is a good option. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who is he. <laughs> Your okay. former president, that's ah, okay. that's the one. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's okay. with no, okay. okay. I don't know if, no. Can you see my, I don't, I don't ask the Google. I can't. Is anyone here? I don't listen to you talking. I'm here. Thank you, Jamie. Who else? Ivan, are okay. you there? Or you are alone? I believe that I lost. Oh my goodness. So what happens with your classmates? My gosh. <laughs> okay, no worries. I'm going to send you to another team, okay? Okay. Thanks. Very good. No worries. No worries. It's, a, it's, it's in San Salvador, but I think that maybe or or Goya because Goya have a lot of uh, 
Ah. A lot of product, but uh, but they have uh, pupusas. Sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt you guys. Uh, I joined Jamie to your team. Okay. 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 Yeah, look at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine that Leonardo DiCaprio say pupusa. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Good brand, idea. but we can use a uh, pupuseria Suiza. Mm -hmm. Wait. I think is who not consider Kendall Jenner because she is very skinny, like a model, and don't offer healthy image. Yes, okay. that's okay. So you finish? Yes, I think yes. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Remember that you had to explain the reason why you picked a celebrity and why you wouldn't pick the other celebrity. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let me just check another team and then we are going to go back to the main room. Okay. Maybe. Cocolito. Cocolito is a... Uh... Ay, what is the word to say? Payaso. Cocolito. Clown. Clown. Cocolito is a clown. It's yes. a better image for, for snacks. Because the okay. snacks are for children. Yes. Quilts. Mm. Quilts, quilts. And... Okay, Google, what you saw. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio is tasting in... Actually, actually, I remember, and uh, Eugenio de Rubens, Talk about pupusas, too, but he said that he preferred cheese pupusas. Yes, yeah, he preferred cheese or Arnold, but 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 I I but is this a Eugenio Derbez? You say, Erika? I believe Nadia de Caprio is best. <laughs> yeah, he's an actor. It's it's more, more, but more, in the more. Latin American community, is more. I don't know. You can relate yourself with him. No. <laughs> but it's not for America. You have one more minute. Only one more minute. So I think so that this have to, we have to choose a person that we don't choose to endorse our product. And why? Okay, and the other person okay. that definitely not consider, and why? Mm -hmm. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He hates he hate El Salvador. <laughs> because I, I, I imagine that he's tasting the pupusa and doing a bad face. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, time's up, everyone. Let's return to the main room. Let's go back. And some people didn't enter to the breaking rooms. Why? Why didn't you enter? Hmm. Yes? I, I, I have a problem with, 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 the, with Zoom when I I going to to the team uh, never finish uh, of you couldn't enter yes it's is low loading 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 uh, loading he never never I I no. You couldn't enter uh, at the breaking rooms. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes that happens when the internet is a little bit low, right? So thank you for telling me. So now I already know why you didn't enter. Thank you. Okay, so everybody, nice. I was uh, listening to some of the teams, <laughs> interesting celebrities, the ones that you picked. Unfortunately, we don't have time, uh, but tomorrow we are going to present the work, okay? Don't forget that you have to explain the reason why you picked that celebrity or the reason why you wouldn't pick the another celebrities, okay? Keep the information because tomorrow we are going to present it. Now, we don't have more time before leaving. The winner for today is... Pamela. So Pamela, you have to stay. The rest of you, everyone, you can go to sleep. Don't forget to work on the platform. Okay, it's not optional. Um, Erica, by the way, platform, I need to see an advance. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> okay. So everybody, this is all for today. Thank you so much for being in the class. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Only Pamela stays. The rest of you, you can go to sleep. See you tomorrow, everyone. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. See you, everyone. Okay, Pamela, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, Pamela, this is a very quick meeting. No worries, I'm not going to take so long. And the idea for this meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have, maybe about the class, about some topics, or about the platform. So this is your moment. Any questions or comments that you may have? I don't know, teacher. Mm, I'm searching something. I think I I got the the process. Only maybe this one. Maybe I have a little, little, little problem with the, um, with the use uh, of would rather. That is the topic that you feel issues with? Yes, maybe I think I have to practice a little bit more. Okay. Actually, what happens with would rather is that we are used to use prefer. Actually, we that we yes. are learning the language, we prefer to use that one, would prefer. Ah, I would prefer, but we don't normally use would rather. That's what happens. Yes. Tomorrow, actually, we are going to have a practice about the main topics that we have studied, and I'm going to include would rather. So you can practice a little bit more because you are not the only one who has issues with that topic. 
Okay, so tomorrow we are going to have a practice about it. Okay, no worries. Uh, which skills do you feel that is more difficult for you? Speaking, listening, uh, grammar, reading, or writing? Um, maybe writing when we have to write like um, complete ideas maybe mm -hmm. or more or or longer paragraphs maybe um, and I I want to improve my my speaking sometimes I I feel like I I how do you say me trago hesitate yes I hesitate okay uh, so I think that is two skills I want to improve all right sounds good but you are doing great um the feedback that i got for you pamela is that i like the way that you participate because you always are willing to participate i have been seeing you during the breaking rooms that you participate a lot too you provide a lot of ideas always when you are in the breaking rooms so i like that also, let's talk about the platform. I can see that you already finished unit number one and unit number two, and you already finished the exam. So we are good with that. Now you can start working in the unit number three, okay? Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, I don't know if you have any other question or any other comment. Not really. Excellent. Okay, uh, I know that you might be tired. That's why I don't want to take long, but uh, keep going, okay? Keep participating, keep providing ideas. You are doing great. And as I said, tomorrow we are going to practice the topics that you asked me, so you can feel more confidence with that. About the skills that you need to practice, let me try to include those type of exercises during the class, so you can feel more confidence with that too, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Very good. All right, so we are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for staying. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thanks. Bye-bye.